No! They're behind y'all on B. They're behind y'all on B. Two hit zip. Saint Lancer. A fucking Lance dumb Lancer and dude, my fucking shit is some crazy shit. I don't know, dude. I don't know how you didn't break that guys. Oh my god. My my Lancer's on zipline. She just hit it. Hit the zipline. He's still here. You can't ride the zip on with the gun the gun out apparently. Uh, <laughs> it was like, no, that's a little too much. Yeah. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some canon gameplay. Today we're gonna talk about the Sahara. Is it the new KA30? Let's head over and check it out. So there's only a couple of reasons why I wanted to bring this up. One of them was actually Radthar. I was checking Radthar's stream out the other day. He was playing the Sahara over the KA-30. He made a comment that the Sahara is the new KA-30. That it is, um, you know, doing way better than the KA-30 is doing since they recently nerfed the KA-30. Then also, I was playing last night with a couple of people from the time I was recording this, not from the time that it's being uploaded last night. But I was playing with a couple of people and they were commenting on how good the Sahara is versus the KA-30. And do I think that the Sahara is the new KA-30? Well, in my experience so far, me trying to master both of those weapons, I do feel like that the Sahara is very consistent like it always has been since the day that it was released. And the KA-30 unfortunately fell into the whole, we're going to buff it till people use it, then we're going to nerf it back down to the way that it used to be. Um, you know, landfill that it falls into there, like with a lot of the weapons in Road Company. Um, but I do feel like the KA-30 still feels really good. I do feel like that there's benefits and there's also, uh, you know, negatives to running both of these weapons independently of one another. And I do feel like, in my opinion, they're very much on the same level. There's different play styles associated with them. There's different timings that you have to take into consideration whenever you're running these weapons. And I think that that adds, you know, of course, a whole different dimension to actually running one weapon over the other. But I do feel like the Sahara is very consistent. I also feel like the KA-30 is very consistent. It's not as consistent at longer ranges like it used to be, but it still feels very consistent, especially in up-close gunfights. Like, it is almost outclassing all of the SMGs at this point, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but I do feel like that it is still a very viable weapon and i think that they both have their strengths and weaknesses i think that right now they are probably the two best assault rifles in the game i do think that the hrm is a, is a very close uh third in that regard but i do feel like these two and the mark four of course like that thing is a beamer the damage isn't quite there but you make up for that with accuracy so i guess it comes down to personal preference on that but um, I do enjoy both the Sahara and the KA-30. And I do feel like that they are in a good spot right now. I understand that they wanted to buff the KA-30. Then they wanted to bring it down because people were just abusing the shit out of it. Which is going to happen whenever you start buffing guns that don't need to be buffed. Uh, but I do feel like the KA-30 is in a good spot now. I feel like I can confidently go up against the KA-30. And if I'm a little bit better or if I'm a little bit smarter than the person that I'm playing against, then I actually have a chance whenever they first did all those changes to the KA-30. If anybody saw you, you were down. And if a whole team was running them, good luck. You know what I mean? And, and now it feels like that that with the way that the gun is balanced at this moment, I don't feel as threatened by that weapon. And the Sahara, it's very much the same way. I don't feel as threatened by the Sahara as, you know, the KA-30 when it was buffed. But I do know that if someone is actually really, really good with a Sahara, that's going to ruin your day every time. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you feel like the Sahara is the new KA-30? Do you feel like the KA-30 is good still after all the nerfs that happen with it? Uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Zipline. Fucking ridicule, dude. They're getting up.
No! They're behind y'all on B. They're behind y'all on B. Two hit zip. Saint Lancer. I fucking hey, dumb Lancer and dude, my fucking shit is some crazy shit. I don't know, dude. I don't know how you did brace that guys. Oh my god. My my Lancer's on zipline. She just hit it. Hit the zipline. He's still here. Enemies have been wiped out. You can't route the zip bomb with the gun the gun out, apparently. <laughs> 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 it was like, no, that's a little too much. Yeah. What? You don't even have the night mastered? Nah, but it now I do. There's three oh, in mid. What are the odds someone sitting on the zip line? Lancer's down there. There's somebody's down there. Lancer. Thing's down, Lancer. I can't see. I'm gonna push him and play him. <laughs> At the back. Wow, you really are using the fucking knob. Told you. Dude. She's back there. We're running in. He's one tap. <laughs> There's a trail coming. Back door. I'm planting the bomb. They're coming this way right now, Dima. He was going through mid. Dahlia. They're all also in mid. Fuck one. They're getting her up. Lance are getting up. Getting her right here. One shot. Push that child. <laughs> Let me put you in my pocket. Stop touching me. I'm filing a harassment report. Uh -oh. Got the Sahara to level four. That Lancer ran right into my sticky grenade. 